Hello, my name is Tyler Ehring. I am the teacher for the Owensville High School TV Studio program. In TV Studio, students create a variety of different media, including live broadcasts of events happening here on campus. The point of this video is that I am looking for ways to raise money to purchase equipment for the class. The goal is to sell sponsorships to the events that we broadcast. We always aim to do a broadcast of each sport one time throughout their season, regardless of if we have a sponsor or not. However, moving forward, additional games can be broadcasted if we're able to get a $200 sponsor for that game. So for example, I am putting on the screen now the home games for the girls and boys basketball teams this year, as well as the home wrestling meets. You'll also be able to find the listing of these home events in the text of this post. Homecoming on February 21st will be the date that TV Studio will broadcast regardless of whether we have a sponsor or not. The boys and girls basketball teams both play on this night. Likewise, Wrestling Senior Night will also be broadcasted. If an individual or business wanted to sponsor one of the other nights, then TV Studio will broadcast that evening as well. The sponsorship, whether it be a business or an individual, will get that sponsor credited in several different ways. First off, the thumbnail that we use to advertise on Facebook and our Instagram will feature the sponsor front and center. On the screen now, you'll see an example of what this would look like with the band that I'm in, Barely Covered's logo. The thumbnail will be what anyone would also see if they were to look the video up on YouTube search later. After every live broadcasted event, it becomes a video that is posted to our OHS TV Studio YouTube page that people will always be able to look back on and watch again or after the game if they wanted to. Doesn't matter if it's next week or years down the road. That thumbnail is going to be the first thing people see anytime they go to watch the video. Additionally, on screen during the broadcast, the logo and name of the sponsor will appear next to the scoreboard for the entire game like you see on screen now. Lastly, we're going to mention it a multitude of times and thank the sponsor uh, through the commentary throughout the broadcast. As a potential sponsor, you may wonder what the viewership is like for these events, and I'm happy to share these numbers with you. First off, I'm going to be honest and say that basketball, football, and graduation seem to be our most highly watched broadcasted events throughout the year. So for example, this year during the Central Park Hills football game, we had concurrent viewership of over 300 viewers for the majority of the game, and we peaked around 360. Overall, that broadcast now boasts over 1,879 views on YouTube, uh, including those that went back and watched it after the game ended, because a lot of times the players uh, or other people like to go back and watch the game after it has already happened. In total, that broadcast has logged 772 hours of total human watch time. On average, viewers watch the broadcast for 25 minutes. With the growth of this program and more people knowing about it in the community, uh, the broadcast numbers are going to continue to grow and climb over time. We've seen a lot of growth in these first two years, uh, but we're just getting started and we don't have any plans of stopping anytime soon. The game being broadcasted live is also a great opportunity for people from other towns of the opposing teams to be able to watch if they're unable to make the travel. Additionally, family that's out of state, elderly, alumni, and peop or people who are sick and unable to attend the game can still watch these events. But maybe the coolest thing is that the video becomes a safe piece of history and those that were involved will be able to look back later in life and remember what it was like in high school playing their sport, being in the choir, or whatever the event was. I personally only wish that there was footage available of back when me and my friends played baseball uh, for the Dutchman, but unfortunately that wasn't a thing back then. The last thing that I will end with here is where the fundraising money is going to be going. And I can tell you that it will be going to things to both improve the broadcast and the things that we do here in TV Studio class like you see here in our TV Studio right now. At the top of the list currently would be another camera that matches the quality of the other cameras that we currently use on broadcast. Typically we run four cameras during a live broadcast, but currently we only have three that are of higher quality that you would be seeing on the broadcast. If we ever pan to a camera that is noticeably less quality, it is because we just don't have a fourth camera that is the same standard as the other three. Additionally, we currently only have one wireless rig, which allows a student to be able to film without being connected by a cable. So 
those on the field football views that you get and on the court basketball views or volleyball views, that is where that is coming from. It has to be done through a wireless transmitter. And basically it sends the feed from that camera to a video switcher that we have where our computer's at. And then the person who is on the video switcher gets to choose which feed is actually going to the broadcast. But overall, the nice thing about this is that not only do our students have our hands on it during the broadcast, because they're the ones that are actually doing it and getting the experience, but that gear is also going to be useful in class as well and will be used nearly every single day by our students in either intro to TV studio broadcasting or TV studio class. So these students get to be a part of the broadcasting process, but also create things during the school day. And this happens every single day. Ultimately, if you're interested in sponsoring an event or making a donation, first off, thank you very much. Um, obviously this will help our program pretty significantly. If you are interested, please send me an email. My email is now on the screen. It is tairing at dutchman.us. We would love to broadcast more games and raise funds for this class. Any donation would need to be a check made payable to Owensville High School, and then those funds would be able to be directed to the TV Studio account. Please share this video and post to help spread the word. Our TV Studio students will also be trying to push the word out there to local businesses and things like that. Thank you guys for supporting TV Studio, and we hope to see you in a broadcast.